The one guy I want to speak to you about, you touched on it, it was Nick Bull. There's a lot of back and forth here and there with you and Nick. Every time Dave Sahani mentions, uh, sorry, an interview with Nick, your name's always brought up. Is that a fight that interests you? I believe that's one of the best fights in British box to be made now. Not three or four down the line. I'm talking now. I feel you're, you're all wrong for this, man. How would you see that fight playing out if you and Nick done it? I, I think I'd just box ahead off him, mate. I'm comfortable. I hit, I move, I create angles. I would confuse the life out, out of him. You know, this isn't me saying nothing. Like, Nick Ball's a dangerous guy. We know he can bang. We know he's explosive. But when it doesn't go their way, when it doesn't go, like you've seen the other week with Andrew Kane, it didn't go his way. You know, there's a guy there. If you kind of take this guy out, what's your plan B? This guy's only got a plan A. It's come in and try and wreck him. Um, and if that plan A doesn't work, what, what's your plan B? There's no plan B. I've got a plan A, B and C, you know. So um, I've boxed people like that around the world. I've been a highly decorated amateur, you know. Um, that styles I've seen. There's people I've fought. I can stand and go to war. I can box and move. So um, there's nothing that he presents that troubles me, in my opinion. And... It's a fight I would take tomorrow again, you know, but it's a big fight. It is a big fight and we have good beef and, you know, it's one that needs to happen for, for something good. It needs to be a world title or a world title eliminator um, because I think after all the, the talk of oh, Nathaniel Collins is a backward step, we won't be fighting him, blah, 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 and all this smoke and mirrors about why we're not fighting. You yeah. know, the people know why we're not fighting. Why is that then? Can you tell us? He doesn't want it. Mm -hmm. They don't want it. I believe they don't want it. Um, it's been brought up. You go and look on every Twitter comment. My name's brought up. Look at every internet name. My name's brought up. Um, so that is what it is. And we'll, we'll, we will meet. We'll meet down the line. We'll meet at world title level because th that I'm not slating them. I think they will go on to eh, compete for a world title. Um, and I hope he wins it because it's someday I'd love to take his world title right off him. You know what I mean? Um, I think if he goes on and gets beat, I've got the British, I've got the belts. Now that's then, that's a step back for me. So unless it's for something big, big money, big titles, it's nothing, nothing's going to happen. Stylistically, Nate, a lot of people on the circuit talk about you're all wrong for him. Would you agree with that? Aye. Um, you look at his last opponent, the dude for York Call, upright guy, just standing there, trying to play along. No lateral movement, no nothing. He get caught clean. Um the guy he fought before, African, all over the place. That was a difficult night. Like, he was chasing, he was running. The big guy was all over the place, you know, he was moving. So, it was hard for him to get to him. I'm like that. It's hard. It'll be hard for him to get to me. Isaac Lowe, without the Isaac Lowe turning his back situation, Isaac Lowe was actually starting to come on stronger. Mm -hmm. You could hear Nick Bell breathing a bit out his arse. So, um, you know. What, what weaknesses do you see in Nick Bell? Because let's be honest, right, who's with me? Isaac Lowe. The other guys are the high calibre fighters. Isaac Lowe, you'd not come out with a faint. Seriously, <laughs> mate, I think you would bury him. Right? Right. But what, what weaknesses do you see in Nick Ball that you can capitalise on? Mate, I just don't believe in his hype or his power, so I don't think that's something that would faze me. I've got a good chin, so what that just like I said, what's his plan B? That all he's got is that come forward style, come forward style. Is he going to outbox me? No. If it starts getting tough, is he going to go with me? Maybe he'll go with me, but is he going to put me away? Absolutely not. No chance in a million years. You look at his record, he's became this bogeyman because he chinned Isaac Lowe. He's became this bogeyman because he chinned this mad Mexican guy who would give a week, like, three days' notice or whatever. So, he quit, didn't he? Aye. But, but at the end of the day, before the Isaac Lowe fight, he was 16-0, and 0, seven knockouts or eight knockouts. That's my record now, 12-0, and 0, six knockouts. So, am I afraid of that power? Not really. I'm afraid I'm coming in and going to war. I'm fit as balls, so there's no chance that <laughs> <laughs> there's no chance that that's going to put any any doubt in my mind. Frank Warren's got a lot of expectation for him, but I believe you're the party crasher. You take that? Aye, mate. It's it is what it is. I know they've got a fight lined up. I'm, I've I'm been hearing so. I did know the guy IBF? He's ranked number seven with IBF. Aye, they so believe that fight's next. Then. You know they're they're pushing towards something. Um, like I said, they can go and do their thing. Go on your own path. I'll go on mine. Our worlds will collide, you know. It's the same as you, you look at the top level guys, Wood, Warrington, Conlon, you know. Wood went his way, Conlon went his way. Mm -hmm. The paths collided. Um, Warrington's still in the mix a wee bit. He's trying to get get in and get busy with it. So, 
they, they guys, when you get to that top level, you're up there, you know what I mean? You got a message for them? <laughs> Mate, it's, I've said everything I need to say, and it, I just think it falls on deaf ears. They, they've got their own they've got their own thing. Um, if he gets a bottle to fight me, I'm putting that to bed, you know. Um, I think they think that I'll be the one that's getting chinned. I'm coming to put him to sleep, and that's plain and simple. Do you stop him early, late? Tell me. I think I give him a systematic beatdown, and uh, I think he gets too much for him. Um, later on, he gasses, um, and he can't deal with my movement, he can't deal with my speed. I just start putting it, and the ref saves him. That's what I think. Let's have it, eh? Aye, 100%. <laughs>